Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers Edition. This is episode 28, and I need to make a minor adjustment to my sound. There we go. Okay, I just noticed it was a little bit off from where I wanted it. Let's jump back in. We were just about to fight a boss. The um, so-called gigantic monster. We'll go see what this is all about. There goes that thing scurrying away again. I'm gonna go check it out one more time, just in case I missed something. I don't think I did. Huh, how odd. Well... Do I use it here, or do I put it in the treasure chest? There we go. Give me the star fragment and the worker scurrying away said no it's here this is a little thing that went scurrying away interesting uh mega starkey huh an eight white that's good news for me Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, I'm just gonna start by building up our element levels as usual. Actually, I think I'll have links. Go ahead and use a uh, black element here. Build up some levels. Oh, he's gonna use a white, of course. Well, that sure didn't do much. Try and turn the field back into my favor. It's not doing a lot, but it doesn't need to just yet. Okay, so Janice only has one black element, um, because when I was assigning elements, I only had one that I could give her. So I put it where I thought it would do the most good. use this one. Actually, I'll go ahead and do... No, I don't want to bust up my field effect. Alright. Attack. Attack. Attack and do this back and forth dance for a little bit. Okay, and now on Lynx's next turn, if I get to go before Starkey, I do. Now I can use Feral Cats with a full black field effect. All right, let's see it. Show me like 200. 
Or 400. That's... 400's fine. <laughs> uh, he's still standing, though, so... Uh, let's go on to Harl. Another 200 from Harl. Oh good, he's going to use a regular non-element attack. Sweet, I can get a little more damage in with black elements. Oh, or not. Okay. Well, I could do a little more yet. Um, I don't think this makes much sense to use in this fight. I don't think you can actually like one hit KO. It, it might put status effects on, I'm not sure. But I'm looking for damage output, so there we go. Oh, alright, got him on the ropes. some elements. But I feel like I might be able to use Lynxes again, but maybe not. Maybe I should just go for it. I mean, I already know that Lynx can deal a lot of damage just from his regular attacks. Ah, oh, Harl. Don't miss. That's not good. There we go. Since I started using red with Janus, I may as well continue with Harl. Go to Janice to build up some more levels. Over to Lynx to give Janice some stamina. Oh, or maybe Lynx will just finish it off. I'm good with that. Thousand gold, no level up stuff. I'll heal everything. Oh, and negate magic element. So the little body of the monster was this small? Naha, 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 naha. Whoopee, star fragment mine. Oi, oi. I got caught. You win. Who are you? I come from faraway stars. But Starkey's ship fall from the sky. Star Fragment is Starkey's ship fragment. The ship turned to fragments after crash. So that's why you were collecting fragments. If we're lucky, your ship might still be intact in the other world. Really? Whoopee! Starkey will come with you. Starkey joined your party. Uh. How interesting. I'm going to assume that Starkey is, like, probably not very good. He's certainly got a lot of agility and magic resistance there. Huh. I don't know. I'm pretty comfortable with Janus, though, so I think we'll stick with her for now. Okay. Looks like he's saying the same thing. Starkey, no more. Go home. That's fine, buddy. You stay here. And when we go to the other world, we'll call ya. But for now, we have a Marbule to save. I think that's the next stop.
Looks like it. Unless there's something I can do on this little place. No, not seeing an entrance. Okay. Let's head to Marbuel and see what happens. This should be the next place where we progress the story, as far as I know. Um, oh yeah, I don't know why I always want to run all the way over there. The village is right here by the, by the shore. Um, nothing's happening. Was I supposed to like have Nikki bring the ship? Maybe I need to talk to Fargo to set sail? I guess I better pop back over to the SS Zelbus and see what's up. Because the ships are definitely not here. Well, even if I had to double back a little bit, that's okay. Still got some side quests done, got a new party member recruited. Might or might not be any good. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a little research on Starkey, see what other people are saying about his usability before I make any decisions. Oh, so you found... <laughs> Excuse me. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, so you folks found the sage, I. Good for you. You got what you wanted. That's about time you left. Dude, where's where's Nikki? We're supposed to we're supposed to go. All right, let me go find Nikki then. What's going on? What's up with old man Sneff today? Ever since the captain lost, Sneff's been on a winning streak. Ha ha ha! Jackpot galore, baby! This is why I can't stop gambling! Lady Luck is with me today, baby! Now I can pay off my debt to the dirty captain! Oh, it's you! Luck has finally come my way! I'm gonna pay off my debt and get the heck off of this ship! Alright, alright, let's get Sneff in the party. Not that I'm ever going to use him, but may as well wrap up the quest line since I kind of did it. Well, he's not in here talking to Fargo. He must have gone back to his quarters. Well, the shared quarters, anyway. Hey, Pops, I heard you paid off your debt to Fargo. You're not pulling my leg, are you? Why would I lie about something like that? There's no reason for me to stay here now. I'm getting off of here. It's kind of sad. It was three years ago when you shook us in after you found us wandering around with amnesia. We are greatly grateful to you. We still have a ways to go with our stand-up comedy act, but one day we will really truly make you laugh. Lank and stout. If I run into any of your comrades, I'll be sure to tell them you're doing well. Good luck to you guys, too. And go on that diet already. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on, guys. Enough moping around. This won't be the last time I see ya. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm. Nah, forget it. Huh? But why? You were always talking about getting out of here. Not till you're able to handle four swords. And not till someone laughs at Lank and Stout's jokes. I can't just leave my family behind. 
But Pops. But I just want you to know, I may be traveling with these people whenever they call upon me. Well then, who's up next? Oh, we are. Rightly right. And you two should be practicing instead of crying. Yes, sir. Feels good being yelled at by Pops again. Well, what are you gonna do? Sure, why not? We will never call on you, don't worry about that. Whew. He is one, uh, interestingly visaged fellow. I'm not even gonna look at him. I already know that he's like really not good. <laughs> uh. Now where the heck is Nikki? We're supposed to be getting ready to go. I'm not finding him anywhere. Those two are doing the comedy routine. In. Why would Nikki be in an inn? I don't know, just checking everywhere. What on earth? Where's Nikki? Harvey all menu. Nikki could cause quite the stir if he showed up in that restaurant. With all his posters put up everywhere. Uh, kitchen, do not deter. Okay. Hum. I don't see him up here on deck. Yeah. Talk to this guy already. He just says some gross stuff about the demi humans being happy to be enslaved. Nikki's told him about us, yes, we know. fiddler crab where the tide around the dead sea differs and then we're looking for someone to convince Fargo okay I think I know what I need to do actually first thing we got to do is head back and we have to potentially take links or surge out of the party for an upcoming fight. Um, there's a really tough boss that uses white elements coming up. And surge can, uh, links, whatever, can get his butt handed to him. Harl might not be a good candidate for that fight either. I might have to set up, like, Irene's and maybe Norris. Just so my, I don't have black element users getting clobbered by the the boss that's just up around the corner. If this is the boss that I think it is, then it's the farthest I've ever gotten in this game, even as a kid. But for now, the sage wants us to use the fiddler crab here.
Okay, now we can get in. Real quick, I want to use the Smith Spirit. Oh. Norris and uh, Starkey both use guns. Interesting. Irenas also uses a pick. Yeah, Harl and Sneff both use slingshots. Gloves. Okay, go back a little slower. Sword, rod, staff. Oh, I guess I'm not able to upgrade um, Janice's weapon right now, huh? Bummer. Well, that's okay. Uh, how about we make maybe a mithril vest for her, I'm thinking. And then accessories, we just have helmets. Okay. Before we head in, I suppose a mithril carrot wouldn't make much sense, right? Although it's interesting that it shows me. I guess it shows me all of my unused items, actually. Weapons, rather, unused weapons. Death's door? That's not foreboding at all, is it? precautionary save here. I'm not sure why I have such an impulse to change save slots when I save in this game. Hmm, I sense a strange presence. Stay alert, Surge. Let us proceed. See, he's calling me Surge, so I think people... I think I should be referring to myself as Surge. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, what is the evil sword Masamune doing here? Sleeping? <laughs> uh, bad joke. Oh, it's no use. We will not be able to proceed without going mad. Surge, we have no choice but to withdraw for now. The path appears to be blocked off by that sword. He must already be in there. The negative sentiment associated with the sword has intensified. It will be impossible to proceed without going mad. There has to be a way. The Dead Sea is right under our nose. Only the dragon sword Einlanzer can break the seal of the Masamune. The Einlanzer? Yes, the legendary holy sword forged by the Dragonites. I have laid it to rest beside its rightful owner, Garai. He sleeps within the cavern. Although it pains me to disturb his eternal slumber, we have no other choice. Where is this cavern? We know it today as the Isle of the Doomed. It was an ordinary cavern until it mutated into a nesting ground for demons. I believe this may be the result of Garai's sentiments, which lingered. A negative sentiment which even the Holy Sword could not restrain. In order to make our way in there, we need a certain item that Garai used while he was still alive. I have stored it away in a hut where Garai and I used to train. We must go and get this item. Alright. We're actually going to fill up all four seats for once. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I guess it's not funny, maybe more amusing. And maybe only to me. I don't know. This is the only hut I know of associated with... Radius. It took you long enough. I've been waiting forever. 
Dario's father Garai and I used to frequent this island for our training. again. Hmm. You always were a half step too slow. And you have a habit of turning your wrist before you swing down. I can read your every move. Ha! <laughs> You're about the only one who knows that since we practice together so often. And I thought I was a genius. <laughs> yeah, right. The Einlander is a legendary holy sword passed on to the most skilled swordsman of the Acacia Dragoons. It belonged to Garai before Dario took over the title. He was a magnificent dragoon. Could this really be it? The sword of legend, the Masamune. My word. Leave it alone. There's something wrong about this. What could be wrong? This is a legendary sword. No, don't touch it. See, Garai? There's nothing to fear. Hmm, perhaps not. Let's go, Radius. No use hanging around this eerie place. Ah. The Masamune. That sword is cursed with hatred and sorrow. Anyone who lays his hands on it will be overcome with negative sentiments and will be driven mad. I... <sighs> Enough talk from an old man. Just wait here a moment. I agree with Janice. Big yawn. But he did ask us to wait. Just gonna stand there? Sorry to keep you waiting. Well, then come up and talk to me. With this mirror, we should be able to make it to the inner parts of the Isle of the Doomed. Let us be off to that Isle. Okay, it's literally next door. Alright, now this is what I was remembering from the last time I did a let's play of this and again didn't finish that one but I did get at least this far now we can come in here and get rid of those mirrors that we were looking at an episode or two ago or three I think it was last episode and three episodes ago we came across these mirrors. Actually, I wonder. I know which one to go to, but instead of going there right away, I want to try all of them. Oh, this might have been it, actually. This may be the one I'm supposed to go to. <laughs> no, it isn't. Okay, good. That satisfies that curiosity, anyway. Can I get into the ribcage from this side? Yes. Excellent. So we go here, and then we come up and around to this mirror. And this is the one we want to go through. This takes us to the next area. Right, now this is a tricky one indeed because we need to bait this guy with us 
quite a ways. And a couple of times, actually. But fortunately, I have no encounters turned on. So even if he does catch up to us, we don't have to worry about wasting the encounter before we want it. The first one is this. I think you can get this as one of Sprig's doppelgangs. But, like, who cares? Since we finished the Grand Slam. Actually, let's just uh, zoom through battle here. Now, hopefully, I was close enough. Nope, I wasn't. We gotta do that again. Hey, buddy, come along with me. Okay, that should be close enough. Once again, just zooming through. Yeah, the White Knight. Get it? White? Anyway. This guy... is definitely usable as one of Briggs' transformations. I do remember getting him last time. But again, I, I just kinda don't care. Because I'm not using Sprig anymore. Built up some yellow for me, I may as well use it. got high res if in effect so didn't do as much as it might have but it's still a pretty solid hit as 
was that. As will be this. Thanks for building up that yellow for me with all your buffs, dude. It <laughs> sure helped me out. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. No spoils and only a piece of iron for that. But I also get golden tiara. Alright, let's see here. There it is. Oh, I guess I can only go downwards. Is it? I guess it's not a key item. That must be some equipment. Janice, how do you feel about a golden tiara? Depends on what it does, of course. Increases your defense against magic. Okay, so let's see who's got the the worst. Yeah, definitely Janice. Oh! Wow, and Star Fragment gives you some nice buffs as well there. We might have to put that resistance belt on someone for a certain boss fight coming up. Speaking of boss fights and things coming up, let's turn encounters back off. Because I need to lure that uh, little Will of the Wisp guy again. Hey, buddy, come follow me. We have a long ways to go this time. We're going all the way down. the one. There we go. Alright, we're gonna speed battle this one. That's okay. I won't be using any white elements, or really any elements at all. I'm just gonna keep zooming through here with physical attacks. all the goodies we can find here on this screen. There it is. Lynx, Janice, Harl, may you all rest in peace. No! Garai! There oh, my bad. No, Garai! Nary a day passes when I don't look back on that day. I was overcome by the power of that sword. Who'd have thought we'd find the Masamune in a place like this? I know. Hey, Garai, what? What? Ah, what the? <laughs> now I'm the top swordsman of the Acacia Dragoons. <laughs> I did it. I'm the greatest. <laughs> huh? What happened? Oh no. What have I done? 
No! I can't yell out because my toddler's asleep in the next room. I know I lost my sanity because of that sword, but I must admit, the sword was not entirely to blame. I was jealous of Garai. I wanted to be the better swordsman. The once renowned Masamune, the holy sword that conquered darkness. Could it be merely a tool for murder? Should you feel remorse for what you have done, then may you fall by my sword, you traitor. Garai? No! Listen to me, Garai. We need the Einlander to seal the cursed evil sword. Then express your intent to the Einlander, as a true swordsman would do. You must defeat me to proceed. In order to believe in what is right, must one suffer pain and sorrow? Do not hesitate. Show me the pride and honor of the Acacia Dragoons. Come, Radius. Or, come, Lynx Harl, Janice. Surge Harl, Janice, really. Alright, well, look at this white innate fellow. That's good and bad. Because, of course, I'll deal a lot of damage to him, but he'll also deal a lot of damage to Lynx and Harl. that on, you know, my character with the best stats and the best uh, HP pool. Actually, let's be a little clever about this. Start building the field effect with some level 1 elements so that I can refill my grids more easily once I have the field effect. Janice only has the one. But that's okay, that's all we need from her. Oh good, physical attacks. Okay, gotta be a little mindful of Lynx, so he doesn't get knocked out. However, we got to get in these shattering blows while we can. Oof. All right. Um A little more damage before I break this field effect. Is he? He's staggered. Okay. Will breaker, huh? Looks like he's using it on Harl. Yeah. Okay.
That was only 13 carrots by my count, but you know. I get it. It's a, a name pun, not a descriptor. Yes, hit Janice. She's got the most HP left. Beautiful. Speaking of Janice. And Janice finishes the job. All right. A little raggedy, but we made it. HP strength for everybody and a little bit of magic for Janice. Or for Harl, rather. Excuse me. We found Dragoon's Honor accessory. And we received the Einlenser. I have always been prepared to fall to a sword held by one of your sons. Perhaps Glenn will take on that role now that Dario is gone. However, I must attend to some unfinished business. Please wait a little longer, Garai. Forgive me, my friend. Indeed. Alright, let's have one more little peek around here, make sure I didn't miss anything. I can't tell, but there's a segment of wall here that looks like maybe it could be blown up. I don't think so, though. And I don't think there'd be anything else behind where the White Knight was. I don't see anything up here. But this spot right here sure looks like it could be blown open. So, the counter's off. There we go. Come on, buddy. This way. This way. There you go. There you go. Come on, little buddy. Come to Sergi. No, it said come to Sergi, not don't come to Sergi. Okay, hopefully that's close enough. And of course, we'll zoom through this fight. If Lynx doesn't miss all of his attacks, goodness. Oh, can't be missing like this. And did Lynx get confused? Got some good spoils. Okay. I forgot to turn off triple speed. I deserve this. Closer, maybe it'll work. Maybe. Oh, now we're gonna get a real bothersome fight, aren't we? I'm over my usual time goal. 
Sorry, this episode's running just a little longer than usual. But I'd really like to finish up this area before I call it good. If my characters could, you know, maybe connect with their attacks, that might help. I suppose there might be something I could do gear-wise. But not at this very moment. Anyway, that's done. Oh wow, look at that power-up. Pretty good. Maybe there's not even a door there. Maybe I'm just being crazy. One more try. If this doesn't burn open the little doorway thingy, then we'll call it good. Oh, but let's turn on no encounters, just so as soon as I'm out of the battle. I won't have to worry about triggering another one. Lynx! Surge, whoever you are, I don't care, just hit your attacks. Please, I beg. Again, doesn't matter. That's fine, I guess. Bruh, I just want to finish this fight. I do care that Harl got knocked out, though. Do I have a revive? By any chance on Janus. Doesn't look like it. No. Alright. Well, Harl's just not getting the stat up for this fight. Oh, nobody did. Alright, maybe there's not even a door there. I don't know. That's enough playing around, though. At least I got some stat gains off of it, eh? And there's nothing more down that way. So we can go through the door, back through the rib cage. No need to battle those dudes. Those, uh, Skeletal dragons, whatever they are. Nope, not that way. This way. And down. Alright. Last thing before we wrap up this episode is we're going to sail down to the Dead Sea and hit the save point there, but I'll start the spiel. So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it so much, hit the dislike button and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what I can do better next time. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. I upload episodes of Chrono Cross every Monday and Wednesday. And on Fridays, I do a variety of games. Um, right now I'm working on Dragon Quest Builders 2, which is a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of like Minecraft, but with a Dragon Quest spin. So yeah, if that sounds good, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell for notifications when I upload those videos. But uh, it's pretty consistent Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Other than that, once again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.